Ms. Sanders, you are clear that this infraction is a violation of your probation. <laughs> Given the unique nature of the circumstances surrounding your case, your violations, your own mother's abandonment, neglect, and history with the law. I don't blame you for hating me, Jillian. I've been a horrible mother. She's just lost. She needs direction. I can't tell you how much she's helped out since Melanie got sick. But I do believe in second chances. Hey, Jillian. She's going to help me with your sister for a while. Did my mom put you up to this? She bailed me out. Mrs. Jordan, you need Melanie, to calm down. Right Jordan. here, take my hands. Please. I'm her mother. I'm going with her. Claire? She cannot die. She has to live. What are we supposed to do? We have to go on with our lives. Cheryl, I don't even know who you are anymore. I just haven't fully accepted everything yet. Hillary has a 50 to 60 percent chance of developing this disease. Look, this disease is very confusing. I have already lost one child. I can't go through this again. Somebody help! I am her mother! Bob Keller from Social Services. We have an order of protection for Hillary Jordan. We need to remove her from the premises. What did you do to her? What are you suggesting? I found traces of a substance called ricin. I can't figure out how that and the morphine would have been combined other than someone intentionally mixing them. Please, I'm her mother! Ah! Cheryl is slowly poisoning your children. Oh my god. Sometimes it takes someone besides ourselves to see our own light. Change what I did or the hurt that I caused you, the damage is done. But I will not give up on you or on us. Where would you be without my love and affection? I want you to tell me the truth, Cheryl. Scott. I want to know. Oh, I am the best mother you ever had. I also believe that sometimes we find better examples of how to navigate this world in mothers who are perhaps not our own.